though, everybody. So I don't know if this is, I don't know where I am at in my vlogs. If this is the start of a new vlog or if this is part of yesterday's vlog. I don't even know where I ended off yesterday. I've just kind of been vlogging and not paying attention. But I feel like I didn't really end it yesterday. But that's okay. Um, I just got back home. I did some deliveries. I am doing, I'm editing a YouTube video. But I had to run to the post office super quick because it's going to close soon. So I wanted to get my packages there. It's 1044 right now. The boys are down at the park, which is just hop, skip, and a jump away from our house. I was sitting down there with them this morning a little bit because there's a fishing tournament going on. Um, but I was sitting down there with them, but then I was like, I got to go to Walmart. I still have some more things I got to get for Blaine's birthday party tomorrow. Um, I want to start cooking some of the food. I wanted to clean the house, which I could actually... I'm thinking about, so I want to get this video edited because this is for Monday, so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow in case I don't get around to it. Um, but I want to just get this edited. Then I think I'm going to run down there, hang out with the boys. Um, and then, the because the tournament only goes till 4. So I can get, because the only thing I really need to cook tonight would be the pea salad. And then Willie's mom is making potato salad. Um, and then I'm not really going to do much more. I have like crock pot mushrooms and a crock pot dip I want to do but that will I'll have to do tomorrow um and then I do have like this these let me show you actually what they look like these jello um shark things and I don't know if I want to do those today or tomorrow though maybe later tonight because I think you're supposed to serve immediately so here let me show you what they look like um but they look like this here. Um, so I might do that tomorrow just because I, oh, my elbow. I smashed it on something I forgot. And it is so sore. I, like, have a bruise on it, so that just really hurt. Um, but, yeah, I'm thinking, because I don't want it to be, like, sitting in the fridge too long. So I'm thinking I want to make it maybe tomorrow morning. It shouldn't take prepared gelatin according to package instructions in a large bowl then chill in the refrigerator for an hour and a half when the blue jello is almost set stir it well with a spoon or spatula this will break up the gelatin and create uh, bubbles in the water look return to the refrigerator and chill until fully set about 30 minutes and then it said divide the nerds candy evenly between the six cups add the blue jello evenly to each cup so you must break it up then. So I could just make the jello today and then do the rest tomorrow. Place one Swedish fish down in the center of each cup to look. Wait, what? I don't know. Maybe we'll, I'll figure that out. Actually, they have a video I can just watch. That. Wait, is that a video? Yeah. Cause it looks like they make the jello and they break it up anyway. So I could just make the jello tonight. And have then then the jello's ready for me to do the rest tomorrow. Um, so I think I'll do that. So I'll make the jello tonight and the pea salad. And then so maybe I'll make that stuff later. And then I do have to clean the house, which that won't take long either. So I don't know. It's always and honestly, birthday parties always feel like a, such a struggle too because it's like when you want to do everything, like, but you want to wait as last minute as possible. Like for cleaning, like it's like I want to wait as last minute as possible to clean the house so it doesn't get super dirty, you know. But I am going to do it tonight. You know what I was thinking? It only makes like six cups, but like I don't, maybe I'll just make the cup smaller because I'm like, I think there's going to be more kids than that. Yeah, so I can make the jello tonight. Okay, that, that'll that actually work out good. Um, but I was going to actually show you guys the cakes I got. Um, so I forgot to call and order a cake, which is fine. Because honestly, I feel like cakes so Well, I think what I just got today actually is about the same amount I would have spent if I would have ordered a cake. But I've got... I just got them from Walmart. There is a cookies and cream ice cream cake. Oh, that is ice. Oh, it's ice cream cake. So, okay. So I got these little birthday cake ice cream. And this was going to be more of like a funny joke because my dad, I my dad and then one of my friends always like 
every year for Blaine's birthday, we, I never have ice cream. And everyone's like, oh, cake and ice cream. But, like, it's just so hot out. And I'm like, eh, I don't really feel like dealing with it. But they, like, give me crap every year. So I, was gonna, I got these and I was going to give them to them. Um, but this one's an ice cream cake. So are they both? Ice, they're both ice cream cakes. And this one is unicorn. Okay. Well, because they're ice cream cakes, I guess I don't need to pull these out. Don't mind the dirtiness. I know, it's really dirty. I have to clean this freezer. I I don't know that I've ever cleaned it, to be honest. Um, and then I do have all his stuff right here. We got cups, juices. I was thinking, I wonder if I need another one. I don't know. Um, we got a bunch of different chips. So we got Maldi, some other chips, plates, and napkins. And these are the cups for the Jello thing. Oops. Um, and then I did get some more stuff. Is anyone like me where you can't just walk upstairs? You always have to sprint up the stairs. So the lady at Walmart gave me a sticker to give to Blaine. Because I go to Walmart very often and usually Blaine's with me and he she always gives him a sticker. So I'm like, oh, that's cute. I didn't have him with me. So. But I've got, I found this really big, big bag of buns because we're just doing... Brats and hot dogs, but I also got Hormel so that we can do chili cheese dogs as well if people want that. And then I've got these Italian, zesty Italian, because I like to make mushrooms in the crock pot. And then I just got a couple bags of these steak ones. These ones are a lot more expensive, so I only got a couple, but these would be easier for like brats and then like chili dogs because they're bigger buns. Um, but I thought, like, kids could just eat, like, these ones. And, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then I got for me and Willie some keto-friendly buns. So, I am thinking about starting up this oven. I think I'm going to cook the bacon while I'm here and just have the bacon cooked and ready to go. Because I need bacon for the pea salad. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then that way when the bacon's done cooking, I can just throw it in the fridge and not have to worry about it. And then I don't have to cook anything. I don't have to cook anything later. I don't like starting the oven. I've shared this before, but our house is, or our air cannot seem to keep up with this really hot weather. And it's like it's been so humid out. So I hate running the oven. So I'm going to run it now since it's earlier. Um... Make up this bacon and then I'll probably run down to the tournament for a bit and hang out with everybody um I don't think I've shared this but we gave Blaine part of his birthday present yesterday which was the fishing his little spider-man fishing pole and um a tackle box and a little nut with it I think I sh I know I shared that with you guys I think right I don't know what I got going on. Okay, so it is 1.30 right now. I don't tell anybody, but I took a nap. <laughs> um, I had to take the boys some McDonald's cheeseburgers. Um, and then I came back home and I was like, I'm tired. You guys, I have been wanting to nap so often lately. Um, I've also been waking up earlier. I've been setting my alarm for six every day and been actually like getting up at six. So that's probably it. And then I need to like, but I need to adjust my bedtime to like earlier then, you know, cause then I, I don't know. I will never, I swear I will never figure out my sleeping schedule. Um, it's always all over the place. But anyways, we're going to start, we're going to start actually getting stuff done. I literally have hardly done anything today. But I was thinking for my dip that I'm gonna make tomorrow, my Rotel dip, I might 
So I have to brown the meat and then throw the meat and the other two ingredients in the crock pot. So I might actually brown the meat tonight and then stick in the fridge. And then that's another step out of the way. So we might just do that. Um, and what in the world is wrong with me? My sister mentioned to me the other day, like, she's like, Alicia, you're always tired. And I'm like, no, I'm not. But, like, I'm really realizing I, I am always tired. Like, what is wrong with me? Um, so I just thought it was kind of funny because here I am just waking up from a nap when everyone's out fishing. I did hang out for a little bit. I didn't hang out very long. I'm gonna fill my water bottle. I'm on my third water for the day. I usually drink about three or four of these and these are 32 ounces. Four would be a gallon. I kind of cut back to where I don't make myself drink a gallon every day anymore just because I don't think it's as necessary. But I do make sure I drink at least three of these. And then I'm going to finish up some of this cherry slush Alani new. This used to be my favorite flavor, but like now every time I get it, I get like sick of it. Like a few, like halfway in. Um, I really like the orange one because it's not too sweet, but I haven't seen the orange one when I go um, to get one. I'm gonna do the pea salad first. Should I do the pea salad first? I just don't wanna cook it too early. It's like my problem. Or should I just cook up the meat first? Or should I clean first? I could just clean first. Eh, I don't really wanna do that either. Why am I so indecisive? I don't know. <laughs> Every night I'm going on the grid Texting back, I want you Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep Into this flow A zero-sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you I need you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you
see me too Everybody singing oh Everybody singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We've got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you I Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff prepped prepped prepped. I'm not gonna do the jello till probably like later tonight because I don't want it because I feel like um because I feel like uh Blaine won the drawing at the I think he got a little bubble gun. Um which he loves bubbles. He won that there. Willie sent me a picture. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. I'm kind of sad I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, I miss him. But yeah, it's a bubble barrage. You can tell he loves it. Oh, he is just the cutest little guy, I swear to gosh. I know, I'm just being biased. I know it didn't focus. But, um... What was I saying? So, oh yeah. I don't want, because the jello, when it sits too long, I feel like it starts to get watery. So I am going to wait till like later on or tomorrow morning to make it. Um, but I did want to share, I sold, so St. not St. John's Bay, Duluth Trading. I wasn't entirely sure how that would sell. I'll show you the item. But I, they're just a pair of men's cargo shorts. And I actually sold them for... 15 15 71 because I always have a oh because that but I I sold them via promoted listings so I've been I turn on my promoted listings now that I was able to and it's been helping a lot a lot of my stuff actually sells promoted as a promoted listing so it sold this 15 71 I have to see I so I have to change my promoted listings thing because um Sometimes it's like really high and I don't want it so high. But I so but yeah, and then they paid seven something for shipping, which it probably won't even be that much to ship. Um, um let me see. Where is I wanna see how much like the promote Yeah, see the promoted listing fee was three dollars and fourteen cents. So oh the fifteen dollars can Oh, okay, so the $15 took it into consideration. So they sold for $18.60. And then and I made $15 because it, $3 was taken. Okay, so now that we got that figured out. <laughs> okay, so I just want to share that because that was a recent bins haul I did um, where I got sold those. And then I also, on Poshmark, uh, me and the buyer went back and forth between offers um they offered like 10 and then we were kept going back and forth i kept countering at like 15 it's this theo vaughn t-shirt um which 15 so i made like 12 dollars on it and which is all right i that for me that's a decent cost of good oh that's a decent selling point i don't really have like I wish I could get up like to 2025, but I'm not right now. So that's good for me. And I don't know what the shirt was listed for, but it sold fast. That's another thing. That was another thing I got from the bins. So I just thought I'd share a couple sales. But I am going to do okay. So I've decided for like a keto um, potato salad. Instead of using potatoes, I am going to use kohlrabi um bear with me like so willie made up some kohlrabi in a soup the other day and i really liked the kohlrabi like there's not much of a flavor to it and i'm like this would be perfect to use as like a potato salad so i'm gonna do that because willie's mom's making potato salad for the party tomorrow so i was just thinking about making a little batch with the kohlrabi so like me and willie can eat it but i'm like that's like genius I didn't come up with it. Willie's mom had said it as like kind of a joke. And I was like, no, that is such a good idea, actually. So 
that's something I kind of want to do tonight. I've kind of, I'm kind of slacking. I did just finish up getting a video uploaded for, to go up on Monday, but like, I haven't gotten nearly as much done as I probably should have for being home alone and the boys being out for the day. They'll probably be back soon though, because it's already three. Okay, so I made the potato salad with the kohlrabi. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. And I didn't add a whole lot of hard, I only made two hard boiled eggs. Probably could have done at least like one or two more, but. Okay, let's see. I guess the kohlrabi has more of a flavor than I thought it would. Like I thought it would kind of blend in. Like I don't taste, like I feel like I can't taste the mayo and mustard. I wonder if I need more of that. I mean, I feel like the kohlrabi holds a lot of water so it's like really juicy when you bite into it and it like flushes out the other flavors it's not bad i don't mind it i actually like the taste of kohlrabi but i think if i added more egg It is a good alternative, though, to potato salad. I'm not disappointed, though. I do like it. But you can taste the kohlrabi more than I think I would have expected. But And it's like, like I said, it like holds in moisture. So it, like, I don't know. You can taste, like, the wateriness or whatever. Okay, I have survived. <laughs> um, it's Sunday. I'm drinking a glass of wine. It's 5.40. We just got done with Blaine's. Well, we didn't just get done. We had Blaine's birthday party today. And Lord knows I need this wine. Um, it is crazy how much prep goes into a birthday party. Even like if you don't put a lot of thought into it and then how much like you have so much to clean up after so I'm like I was thinking I think next year I'm gonna start doing Blaine's at like a park or something it would just be a lot easier I think um and just like all the running around like Blaine don't drink that please but the birthday party was a really good turnout Blaine had a lot of fun so it was all good. It's it's always worth it in the end. It really is. Um, I'm not someone who minds cleaning either, so I, I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah, it just always feels like you like ran a marathon when the day is over. Because I like to like clean, get the house all nice and clean and tidy, even after the party. Like I know some most most normal people probably just relax and they they leave the cleaning maybe for another time. But not me, not me. I am very anal, I guess. Even, like, sometimes... I remember one year I even mopped the floors after, like... I just wanted to get the house clean. But anyways, I did not take any videos, any... I totally forgot to take pictures. I'm really disappointed. Um, I did... There's a couple people that did take pictures, so that was really nice. Um, uh, I'll have to insert the video of... The, um, someone took a video, thankfully. So they took my phone and took a video on their own, which I... So appreciate it, but of us singing happy birthday to the Blaine, so I'll insert that right here.
So yeah, Blaine had a good time. Um, and yeah. Can't believe it's well he'll be four tomorrow actually. So Blaine, that's enough. I'm gonna take that away and he's tired. Um we yeah. also went for a ride on my sister's side by side. They just got it actually just a couple days ago. Um but yeah, I'm finishing up cleaning up. He has so many presents in the basement right now. Cause it started oh, it did start raining, so everyone had to come inside. I'm okay, we're I'm gonna put that away if you stop. Blaine? He's t he's tired. He needs a nap. Um, he was we got a ride in the side by side, and he was he literally fell asleep in the side by side, in his helmet and everything because the kids have to wear a helmet. Um, so yeah, and it's five forty three. He'll probably be to bed by seven tonight. Probably no later. Maybe even six. But anyways, what am I even sharing? I'm gonna end off this vlog. Um, I don't even know how much. I don't know. I don't know where we're at. I don't know um, what I've all shared in this vlog. I just know that I'm beat. I'm going to have some. I'm drinking my wine. And I got to do some listings yet tonight. I got some things to do. And I'm going to finish up the dishes. I just have a few more left. I have to put away some of the bigger things. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Maybe... I've been really liking doing the emoji thing. I I love seeing like the people that stay to the end and like comment the emojis. It's really nice. I I really do appreciate it too. Um so let's do a let's do a birthday cake emoji just for the sake of Blaine's birthday party. So if you've made it this far, leave me a birthday cake emoji in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.